Hi, it's Nancy, and today I wanted to do a special video for you about YouTube and how you could use YouTube as a tool in your real estate business, a great tool, not just to promote yourself, but to actually use as a tool to show on your listing appointments, to show people that you talk to on the phone every day, maybe people that you're prospecting, uh, all kinds of uses. So you can get multiple, multiple uses out of just having things on a YouTube channel. Number one, you could just, first of all, you could put all your listings on there. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, some people are going to find them on YouTube, but also you can show that on a listing appointment, how, what your experience is through the homes that you have sold. So that's a great way to show sellers your experience and what you've done in the past and what that one sold for and what that one sold for and how many days and all of those things. Okay. The second thing that I think is really, really good to put on YouTube, and I love this idea myself, is uh, having people give you a video testimonial. It's as easy as being at a closing with someone or, or having being anywhere with them who sold real estate with you or bought real estate through you and just saying, would you do me a favor and tell me what your experience was like? I do want to uh, reserve this on video. Do you mind? And you put, give them the phone, put the phone on them with the camera, let them speak into the microphone and tell what, the public what a good experience they had with you as their realtor. So you just put that on, not you in the video, just them. And now you've got it saved and you can upload that on YouTube. So you could have a line of your testimonials, a, a playlist of your testimonials. Then you could also send to people who are going to do business with you or thinking about doing business with you and maybe interviewing someone else too. So you could send them as, as a pre-listing, you could send them your testimonials. You could send them your past listings. So you could have a playlist of your testimonials. Those were two really good uses that I found for having a YouTube channel. So that's not you in the video. I know a lot of people are saying, I don't wanna be on video. Well, in either one of those cases, you don't have to be on video. And some agents are also doing this on Facebook now but I'm going to say, why not do it on YouTube? Now, if it's on YouTube, you can you can load it on Facebook, but it's there into perpetuity on YouTube. But on Facebook, it's going to disappear at some point. It's not going to be seen anymore. But on YouTube, you can actually say, please go to my YouTube channel and look at this prior to us meeting or whatever. Now, there's other videos that you could do on YouTube. Moving to your city, okay? Moving to your city. Uh, that's a great one to do on YouTube. So if people, that's what people search for. If they're moving to a city, that's the phrase, moving to, you know. So uh, you could do that, and it would be good if you were in the video talking a little bit, but then you could just film different photos and different videos of your city. Now, if you're in a big city and you're doing, small, you have smaller areas around you, subdivisions, communities, whatever it is, you could also put those in there and take photos and pictures of those. So that's a great one. Uh, the home buying process. You put the home buying process in there, what your process is. And so if you're working with a buyer from day one, you talk to somebody on the phone who's uh, gonna probably do business with you, send them the home buying process on video. Mortgage lenders do this all the time. We should do it as agents. And we can just copy the mortgage lenders, right? Home selling process. You could do the home selling process on YouTube. Same thing, pre-listing appointments, send them the home selling process that you do. That way they'll already feel like they know you and that's what people say when they see you on YouTube. I feel like I already know you, right? And isn't that what you want if you're gonna be working with people? Of course it is. All right, pros and cons of living in blank, your city, right? Or Florida, pros and cons of living in your city or state. What is one of the big pros of living in Florida? It's, there's, it's a no income tax state and a lot of people that are moving here move in, they came from an income tax state, they have no income tax here. That's a great one. How about cost of living in blank? Uh, your neighborhood, your community, your city, whatever that is, cost of living is a great one. Five top neighborhoods for 55 plus communities or 55 plus buyers. That's a great one because we have a lot of those in our cities, right? Uh, how about top five top neighborhoods for first time home buyers? Would that be a good one? Or top five neighborhoods in this price point in this city. There you go, it's endless what you can come up with. Renting versus buying. If you're talking to renters, renting versus buying, that would be a good one. First time home buyer, of course, would be a great one. 
how to sell your home in 2020. That would be a good one. The years, is some, for some reason, this year is very popular. It's actually a very unpopular year, but for video topics, it's very popular. So that would be a good one. Uh, how about uh, 10 steps to qualify to purchase a home if they're not qualified? You could have that. You could have how to get your home market ready, right? You could do that. How, uh, why stage homes sell for 70, 73% faster? And talk about staging. You could talk about virtually staging, right? You could do that for uh, a pre-listing appointment. If you're talking to an absentee owner and you want to know how to wow the absentee owner, show him a listing of yours that's virtually staged if his house is vacant and say, this is what we do. And, you know, your home sells, typically homes sell 73% fast, faster if they are staged, whether virtually staged or not. Uh, so that was some of my top ideas for videos that you could do. Uh, and if you're a little bit shy, you can start off with the ones that you don't have to put yourself in the whole video. So that would help. Now, I found some some agents who have great video channels, great YouTube channels. And one of them, the first, I'll give, I'm going to give you four. The first one is jo Jose, Jose Sepulveda. He has 69 videos. He has 511 subscribers. And he's what a typical agent would do in an area, and he's in Canada. So you, he, he has some good videos and very easy to do videos for you. But And I'm going to link this below. I'm going to link all of them below so that you can see them for yourselves. So you can see what they're doing that you could do. And by the way, I don't see a lot of realtors doing this yet, but I know it's getting more and more popular. So don't wait on this. Go ahead and do it. The second one is a big team out of Tampa. It's the Duncan Duo, and they're, of course, a Remax. And they do all kinds of um, out-of-the-box things. They have a radio show and all that. But they have very good examples of their customers giving testimonials on YouTube. I've really liked that. That's what they have. And they have uh, 5,100 videos, and they must video everything. And they've been doing it for quite some time. And they have 2,590 subscribers. So they have a following. And they also have their nice listings on, on their channel. Uh, Will Mitchell, and he's with Remax in Belize. And he, he's sitting on a front porch telling you all of the things about Belize and Ambergris Key in Belize, uh, which is very interesting. He has 85 videos on YouTube and he has 1,500 subscribers. So he probably sends people one of his videos the minute he talks to them uh, about Belize, he goes ahead and sends them one of the best ones I've seen in a long time for giving knowledge about an area. Um, the next one, the last one is Karen Carr and Karen Carr is a real estate agent out of Atlanta. Now, she was in Atlanta, she's moved to Savannah. When she moved to Savannah, she didn't know anybody. She had started a YouTube channel in Atlanta. Now she has a YouTube channel. She changed it to Savannah. And 75% of her business is coming off of her YouTube channel. Just so you know, 75% of her business. She's getting a lot of business off of it. She also teaches you now how to have a YouTube channel. So now she's a realtor. She's a YouTube channel teacher. And she has 80, no, she has, I didn't put down how many, videos she has. She has a lot of them and she's picking up subscribers daily. So those are four that watch them, see what you think. I think you guys can do this. I know you can do this and I want to see you do this. It would be such fun and you have, you know, you have the rest of your real estate career. You don't have to do it overnight. Do it in small bites, maybe a video a week. You know, get your channel up and going and get your listings on there or get your, as you go through the year, get your testimonials on there. And then also start doing a video on your area. And so take, you know, you do your report ahead of time, your notes ahead of time. You can read off of them. People doing videos now, they read off a of paper like I do. They read off of, uh, they held their phones up and they have a camera and they're reading off their phone, their notes off their phone. And it's still, it's interesting material. So it's very, it's very acceptable to do that. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to bringing you some more videos. And uh, take care, and I'll talk with you soon. And by the way, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. These are starting to get better, aren't they? Please tell me they are. So thank you. Take care.